Hello everyone, my name is Ibukun Luwa Adedeji. I obtained a first degree in ag agriculture from the University of Ilorin in 2001 and a Master of Science degree in agronomy from the University of Ibadan with specialization in plant breeding and genetics. Currently, I work at the sugarcane bar factory of the National Sugar Development Council as laboratory manager. To study plant breeding in Henry Nigerian University, a prospective student must have five credit passes in the O-level subjects, such as English language, mathematics, biology, chemistry or physics, and agriculture economics. The jump, jump subject combinations will be English language, chemistry, biology or agric, and any one of mathematics, physics, geography, and economics. Such a candidate will go ahead and choose agronomy as a course of study. In universities where you do not have agronomy as a course of study, such a student can, can study general agriculture and at the postgraduate level study agronomy. However, agronomy has various fields under it, such as crop, prote crop protection, plant physiology, wheat science, soil surveying, farm mechanization, plant breeding and genetics. So specializing in plant breeding and genetics suggests that such a student, such a student is on his or her way to becoming a plant breeder. Um, plant agronomy is the science and technology of producing and using plants for food, fuel, fiber, and land reclamation. These days, we talk more about modern plant breeding. It's because plant, modern plant breeding is applied genetics. There is no how a student can study plant breeding without having a knowledge of genetics. And this covers molecular biology, cytology, physiology, pathology, entomology, chemistry, and statistics, or biometrics. You know, plant breeding is a field in agronomy involving selective breeding of plants in order to achieve the production of the best crops under different or various agroecological zones. In, for instance, we usually have some plants doing so well in a particular agroecology, but when it is taken into another, it performs poorly. So a plant breeder must have a very good knowledge of a plant's characteristics. This is because it helps in the selection of varieties with desirable traits. And what are these desirable traits that a breeder looks for in a plant? In plants, uh, some of them are high yield. Every body plants with the with the intention of getting high high yields in return. So high yield is a very important trait in plant breeding. Another one is improved nutritional value. Improved nutritional value, then disease resistance. Drought tolerance is another desirable trait in plants. Um, when a plant can resist drought, can tolerate drought, it means such a plant can do well both in the rainy and the dry season. And most times this Plants are referred to as dual seasoned plants. So the career prospects in plant breeding after graduation includes the following. Such a student can become a researcher or scientist in a research institute. Also, uh, there is um, a job, a career prospect in lecturing in in a university 
or in any college of agriculture. Um, such a person can work as, agri as an agriculture officer in the state or federal ministry of agriculture. Also, you can own a farm or be a farm manager in a commercial farm. Um, amongst others, such a person can also render consultancy services to uh, people who are interested in establishing their own farms by helping them to write feasibility reports or a bankable business proposal that they can take to the banks to assess loans and other financial assistance. Thank you very much.